you know, it's just there for the sake of being there. You know, like in the one episode where I uh, played the Battle Hymn of the Republic. That song is 150 years old. There is no copyright still standing on it. I mean, we know the name of the writer of the song. But any legal claim on his name expired decades ago. Yet I still get two notices pop up over that song on Content ID, but nobody enforced it because they very damn well know that there's nothing to enforce. You know? I don't know, maybe you don't. God, Belgium, why do you have this city? And America, can you please take it from them? I think it's Knossos. I think I saw Knossos in their city list. It's a Greek city. Well, technically Minoan, but it's in the Greek civilization. Yeah, the Minoans were not Greeks. They lived in on the island of Crete, which is in modern-day Greece, but they were definitely not Greeks. They weren't even Indo-Europeans. Sure. Yeah, he does not really like me very much. But early concerns about my warmongering, so... I think that's... Thanks to the city I liberated. Yeah. And I care why. I liberated some of your people. I'm gonna need to make them give me this city in the next war so I can liberate the damned thing. God damn it. Now, unless I can get America to let me through. Oh. Well, you know, it's Turin. You remember Turin Mikhailovich? Yep, this is the city he's named after. Ah, wonderful. Hmm. It looks like the Belgians probably managed to get the Americans to leave that city alone. I'll bet just because of its proximity to Argos that that's probably Nak... Uh, Nosos. Not Naxos. Naxos is the name of an island, although it's probably also the name of the city on said island. I'm gonna go with a mine this time. You, sir, head to the front. Actually... Yeah, to the front. In a few more turns, you're gonna be in a position to redeclare war against the Belgians. I'm gonna want to be there to do that. Or whatever, shut up. God, game, why, why are you being like this? It worked pretty smoothly at the start, but there was much less going on. Only one city per every sieve. Very few units. I, I mean, look at my country, it's covered in units, and this isn't even the area where I'm dogpiling them. Sheesh. Look at that, two great generals right next to each other. 
Frankly, if I were smart, I would probably plop one of them down and steal some of his land. Actually, no, no, I wouldn't do that, because I'll be getting all of his land anyways, because I'm going to conquer him, like, fully. God, Albert, I hate you so much right now. I mean, I mean, not the real Albert the First. I think it was like King of Belgium during the First World War or something like that. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, some elections rigged in Polana with an 82% chance of success at a coup. Oh. We're 13 influence away. Damn it. Belgians are gonna get Polana back with asshole McAsshole. E. Uh, move away from what I can only assume is Nassos. Never gonna be able to see the city in this thick jungle. Stupid cats making noise. You can move forward a little bit. Do I have any workers who've uh, finished working on something? Because starting to lose money... Like, a lot. I think I need to disband some workers. So, next turn is 347. I'll be able to declare war, unless it wants to wait for the turn after. You know, 348. But, well, fine. I've helped him out in the past, though I can't remember with what. Actually, thinking about it, I don't think I helped him out very much. Really? That's how much you want to give me for this? Okay, look, it's either 5 GPT, which is what I could get from anyone else, or nothing. Okay, I'm glad we could do business. Even though we hate each other. Even though we hate each other, we can get past that to make some money. Well, I'll be making money, he'll be making his people happier. You know, it's a win-win. No reason to let hate stand in the way of mutual progress. I don't like anyone to lose when everyone can win. Oh, for the love of fuck, Albert just built fucking Broadway? And what, is this all in Brussels? He's got a shit ton of stuff in Brussels. Hopefully when I take Brussels, I'll start eating into his tourism. This is bad. He's getting all the fucking tourism. It's like really, really significantly bad. Oh, and fuck, Brussels is up to triple digit military strength. Wars may be fought with weapons, but they are won by men. Okay, finally, we get to vote. Hmm. You know something, I just realized, when I'm not making li very much money, I don't really think I want standing army tax. So... Embargo on the Ottomans. Uh, no, no, this one. This one. 
Uh, no trade going on between me and the Turks, so I am in favor of that. There we are. Let's commit. You finished your museum. Now I should build the East India Company. Where... What city do I have most of my trade coming through? Uh, Belgrade. And Boston. I think you need to be coastal for the East India Company, am I right? Um... I don't know. Maybe. Uh, whatever. What I'm going to want you to build is, I guess, a zoo for the happiness. Oh my fucking god! What the hell, Belgium? What are you doing over here? You should not be over here. And what the hell is this city? Huh? Tell me that. What possible cities do you have? I have no fucking clue. There, this is the only other Greek city he holds. But anyways... Okay, yeah, so I need to wait until the next turn for the peace treaty to expire. And then... Then I'll be able to... Re-engage. Though I, I'm... Uh, I'm really... Really questioning how good an idea that is. But I'm going to do it because I need to. I'm desperate. The Belgians need to die or else they're gonna win this damned game. And I don't want that to happen. This is my first Civ 5 series. I don't want to leave a bad record. Oh right, I was going to start disbanding these guys. For 17 gold, yes please. Get back some of the money I've been using. God. These guys are getting some really dangerously high tourism. Ideology adopted. America has gone order. Um... Yeah, that's not good. Oh, but we get a new policy next turn. That's nice. Yes, peace treaty has expired. So, we can make a new proposal. Let's see. So that passed. Um, I don't think my previous proposal did, though. Yeah, it doesn't look like standing army tax actually succeeded. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Thank you. Peace treaties ending. Yes. And let's see how these turned out. So, standing army tax failed because everyone dogpiled against it. I see. Yep. Nobody wanted the Ottomans to be in a good position. Nobody likes them. Glad people agree. New culture policy. Hmm. 
I really should go for that. Except I've got pretty low happiness. So I'm not going to be able to... But let's see. Hmm... Let's see, what should I go for? Do I have a lot of castles and arsenals and stuff like that? Um, probably not. Okay, well, standing army tax. Didn't really have much of a chance at succeeding. International games. Although I will be going at war pretty soon, and if Belgian Belgium wins this, it would be pretty damn disastrous for me. Though it would be a good long while before it gets passed. I'm gonna go international games. And now, I want to go another tenet. And that is nasty. Fucking Belgians. So, I'm going to grab the National Wonders. Let's see how much this increases. By three. Yeah, that wasn't very much. You're finished. Okay, I'm going to disband you for the money. Um, yeah, I'm not going to disband everyone just yet. I mean, this Belgian land seriously needs to be, uh... Yeah, but... Here's the beautiful thing here. We can declare war, but I think I'll save that for my next session, because I've been doing this for a while. And anyways, I am Lord Ravenwork, this has been great, and I will see you all later.